So it's been a three-year evolution from this to the iMac of today. And in that three, three and a half years, I'm really amazed to report that we've sold six million iMacs. Six million iMac users out there. This is one, making it one of the most popular computers ever. And we'd like to say thank you to those six million customers. But today, we're going to say goodbye to that iMac. Because today, we're announcing a new iMac, completely design, redesigned from the ground up. Our goal was to design it to be the ultimate digital hub to connect to all your digital devices, to run the applications, the suite of digital hub applications, better than ever before. We also listened to our customers really carefully, and it turned out they wanted the same things we did. Their loudest request, flat screen. We said yes. And so the new iMac has a 15-inch LCD screen standard across the line. It's got the same viewing area as a 17-inch CRT, and yet it's twice as bright and twice as sharp as CRTs, and there is no flicker. This thing is so much easier on your eyes than CRT displays. 1024 by 768 resolution, millions of colors. It is gorgeous, and I think this is the official death of the CRT today. The second loudest request from our customers, put a G4 in it with the Velocity engine. And we said yes. Every new iMac has a G4 in it, running at 700 megahertz or 800 megahertz. And this is incredible because it speeds up every single one of our digital hub applications. In iMovie, creating transitions and effects goes much faster with a G4. In iTunes, you rip your CDs and burn CDs faster with a G4. iDVD isn't even possible without a G4 because you need the G4 to compress the video into MPEG-2, which is the standard for DVDs. And again, in iPhoto, everything goes faster, the resizing the photos, etc. The G4 helps all of these apps. Third loudest request for our customers, let us get a super drive in it. And we have said yes. We want to be able to read and write CDs and read and write DVDs. We want to make our own DVDs with movies and pictures on them. And this is really going to explode. And as of today, the discs just cost $5 a piece. We've lowered the pack, the five pack price to $24.99. $5 a piece, you can burn an hour or 90 minutes worth of video and have 10,000 photographs on a DVD. So these are the core technologies in the new iMac. They are all pro features. We didn't stop there. Every new iMac has an NVIDIA GeForce 2 MX graphics chip in it with 32 megabytes of video memory, 24-bit at all resolutions. This is three times faster 3D graphics than the iMacs of yesterday. We've built in five USB ports, two FireWire ports, 100 megabit Ethernet, built-in modem, airport ready with antennas. We're the only desktop manufacturer that does that. Built-in microphone, built-in headphone jack, a really nice internal digital amplifier and digital speaker. And in two of the three models, Apple Pro speakers as well. On every model, of course, our optical mouse. So, amazing technology. What about the design? We have been working on this for two years. I know some of you wanted this sooner, but I think you'll agree it's going to be worth the wait. This is the best thing I think we've ever done. It's an all-in-one. We passionately believe that consumer computers should be all-in-ones. So you don't have these boxes spewing all over your house. And it solves the whole cable mess problem as well. All-in-ones are clearly the way to go. And everyone has a flat screen. Now, the move to flat screens we recognized early on is going to be the biggest single change in desktop computers in the next decade. And we realized that we had the opportunity of the decade 
to reshape desktop computers. Now, normally, what we might have done, and I think what everybody else will do, we could have taken our iMac and taken a hacksaw to it, chopped off the back. So we're going to put a flat display on the front. Who needs the back? There it is, the new iMac, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but there are some problems with this. There are some fatal flaws in this approach. With the flat screen in the front, you notice it's not very flat anymore, is it? Because we've glommed the back on with all the rest of the stuff. There's nothing flat about this computer. But the other problems go deeper. We have to put the logic board parallel to the display in back of it, which means the connectors come out on the side, making the worst kind of cable mess right in front of your eyes. And even worse, we have to turn the drives on the side. And in particular with the optical drives, they can't run at full speed on the side. We have to slow them way down. The performance goes way down when you turn them on their sides. And you could never fit a super drive in here. So this approach is far less than great, and we rejected it. And then we had our big idea. And the big idea was that rather than glom these things all together and ruin them all, a lower performance computer and a flat screen that isn't flat anymore, why don't we let each element be true to itself? If the screen is flat, let it be flat. If the computer wants to be horizontal, let it be horizontal. And we came up with a radically new design. It is a technical tour de force. John Rubenstein and his hardware team have outdone themselves this time. It's got superior ergonomics to anything we've ever built, and I would dare say maybe the industry's ever built. And it has a beauty and a grace that is going to last the next decade. So it is my privilege to now present to you the new iMac. on over. This thing is a marvel. The whole computer is in this tiny little base, and the screen is incredibly flat. Let's get the video up. You can see this thing. Take a look at the screen, and I can move the screen with just a touch. Isn't that incredible? And notice that the display stays parallel, but I can change its angle, of course, as well. So I can move this with just a touch anywhere I want. If I want to show something off, if I want to hunker down with a spreadsheet, anything I want. And it swivels 180 degrees as well. Amazing. And the screen literally floats in midair. It's, it's unbelievable. The entire computer's here. Come on around and see the disk drive slot in the front that opens when the tray comes out. And around the back, we've got all the connectors. Right there. Now, the whole computer is in the base. Everything. The entire computer, the hard drive, the optical drive, and the power supply. There's no power brick dangling off here somewhere. The whole thing is in the base. And to give you a feeling for how small this is, you know, I've got a jewel case a CD. Let me just put that up here. You can get a feel for how small this thing really is. So, thank you. So the new iMac, again, it's really wonderful. Okay. So. Our big idea, let each element be true to itself. So let's take the base. The base is only 10 and a half inches in diameter. And yet in that is the entire computer, 
both the drives, including a full-size super drive, and the power supply. The drives come out, the tray in the front, like that. And the connectors, again, are all in the backs, and the cables are routed off the back of your desk, making it as neat and clean as possible. Now, what happens when you want to expand your iMac? We thought of that, too. You just flip it up. There's four screws to pop off. Isn't that the most beautiful bottom of a computer you've ever seen? <laughs> four screws to pop off, and you can add memory. The new iMac will hold up to a gigabyte of memory. And you can add an airport card right there. And again, the antennas are built in up in the display for the best reception. Pop the cover on, and you've expanded your iMac. Now the second element, the screen. Look at how thin it is. Nothing glomming up this screen. It wants to be flat. Let's let it be flat. And connecting them is a marvel of mechanical and electrical engineering. The neck, which lets us move it from all the way vertical to 90 degrees horizontal and adjust our tilt at any point. It's amazing. The new iMac. Now, this is going to blow your mind. We got three models. All models, of course, come with a keyboard and the optical mouse, digital amplifier, and internal speaker, and two of the three come with Apple Pro speakers. The first model, 15 inch LCD, stunning, 700 megahertz G4, 128 megabytes of memory, 40 gigabytes of hard drive, and a CDRW to burn your own CDs. This specification of a computer last year from us cost over $3,500 to have bought the tower and the 15-inch display. The new iMac with this performance level, $1,299. We think flat displays and G4s are so cool, we want everybody to have them. We want every one of those 6 million iMac customers to upgrade. We want the other 95% to upgrade as well. Second model, we've upped the memory to 256 megabytes and put in a combo drive so you can watch movies as well on your new iMac. And this model, $14.99. Third model, 800 megahertz, up the hard drive to 60 gigabytes, and a super drive. This capability and this performance level cost $4,500 a year ago here when we announced the first tower with the super drive in it. And this incredible SKU, $1,799. So three incredible models. When are they available? We're going to start with the SuperDrive model because we think it's going to be the most popular. We're going to ship this before the end of this month. The 1499 model, as we ramp up into production, we'll ship that in February. And the 1299 model will ship in March. We're going to ramp up as fast as we can. We expect the demand for these products to be large. <laughs> So three incredible models, we'll get them all in high volume production this quarter, starting at just $12.99. And as of today, we are taking orders. Uh, if you wanted to place the first order, I'm going to have to disappoint you because we've already taken our first order, and it is from Genentech. Genentech is one of the leading biotechnology companies, the company that invented the entire field. And they've got a, a, just a super smart guy running Genentech named Art Levinson, and we are privileged to have him on our board of directors. And so Art saw the new iMac as it was under development. He said, you've got to let me show this to my folks, because biotech uses a lot of Macs. And recently we did, and I'm, uh, I'm pleased to announce that Genentech has ordered a 1,000 of them. So. Not only are we going to see the new iMacs in homes, but we're going to see them in small businesses and large businesses and universities as well. The new iMac, it works perfectly 
with our digital hub applications. It connects perfectly to the most popular of these amazing new digital devices. It is the ultimate digital hub.